What's going on everybody, it's Jack. Welcome to this week's video. I don't think I've ever started a full day of eating, not in the kitchen, but today, since we're only having a banana and protein shake, I don't need to cook anything. This is a quick, efficient meal that I'm actually gonna eat outside real quick while I watch some Good Mythical Morning. So we're gonna start with that, and then I have actual meals I'm gonna cook throughout the day. But I wanna address two things real quick. One uh, is fasted cardio, and the other is intermittent fasting. I get a lot of questions on these in my comment sections of old videos when I used to do both of those. So one, fasted cardio has no benefit or no like extra fat burning special sauce than doing fed cardio the only thing is for me I noticed when I first got up I was like if I just do my cardio right away I get it out of the way I never have to think about the rest of the day that's the only reason I did it I could definitely have my protein shake banana and then do my cardio but sometimes I like to do it on an empty stomach I feel a little bit better but it doesn't actually make me burn any more fat and secondly intermittent fasting it's not a magic trick but it is a good tool to use to kind of push off your calories for later in the day. So it seems like you're eating more, even though you're eating less calories. There's no intrinsic difference between eating 2000 calories throughout the day and then 2000 calories in a smaller window, AKA intermittent fasting. At the end of the day, it's just a tool to help you lose weight because a lot of people, sometimes if they eat early, they eat throughout the entire day and overeat. So intermittent fasting just helps them put off those first meals. So when they eat the 2000 calories, they don't overeat and actually feel full. Other than that, I'm gonna down this protein shake and banana and then we'll get the day started. It's now time for our official cooked meal of the day. We're gonna be doing egg whites as well as ooh, we have these English muffins, low calorie English muffins. We're gonna two of these and having some jam on top. That's gonna be our pre workout meal as well. Isaac just got here, we're editing some stuff, so that is super exciting. Um, I'm actually so mad I didn't film that for you guys to show me doing that for the last three hours. Not a big deal, but we're gonna go ahead and up some egg whites. We're gonna do five servings of egg whites, which come out to be 25 grams of protein. Like I said, two English muffins, a little dash of jelly on top of those. And yeah, let's just whip this up. we have our pre-workout meal. I'll read off the macros real quick. This meal comes out to be 375 calories. It is 65 grams of carbs, only two grams of fat, and 33 grams of protein. We have 20 grams of jelly, which is just enough to cover two English muffins. We have two plain English muffins, and then all of our eggs. Um, yeah, I would normally put some Cholula hot sauce on here, but today I just wasn't feeling like the spice, so. It's also quite a bit of carbs, but it's also my pre-workout meal, so we want the carbs. Macy's checking in, she's always seeing what we got on the menu today, but. All right, I've been digging into this. Okay, no, we haven't done it in a while. We haven't fed the beast, so I'm gonna break off a little piece of English muffin. Goodbye, carbs. I'm gonna feed Maisie. All right, Maisie, come here. All right, you sit, shake. Good girl. Other one. Good girl. Ready? You gotta catch it though. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right, I'm gonna finish that meal, and we're gonna head to the gym. We're gonna get Isaac behind the camera and uh, film a quick edit. All right, we got Isaac behind the camera now. We're gonna head to our workout. We have an energy drink review for the day. It's the Ghost Bubblicious Strawberry Splash. I do love a good piece of Bubblicious gum, so we'll kind of see high expectations, but also like swallowing gum is a little unique. Wow. I'm a huge fan of that. It just tastes like the juice of a bubblicious piece of gum, like you bite in, that juice kind of comes out. It tastes exactly like that. All right, we're gonna head to the gym. I might get sick and tired of it by the end of the can, but right now, this is very high on my list. All right, so we just got to the gym and finished up our bubblicious strawberry splash from Ghost. I will say, probably controversial, but I really enjoyed this. I'm gonna give this an 8.5. It really did the job of, as far as staying true to the bubblicious flavor. I was a big fan. I know some people don't love bubblegum flavored, um, but as a kid, I used to have it actually as my, like, when I went to the dentist as like my toothpaste flavor. Um, so I absolutely love it. This was fantastic, 8.5 for me. Now let's go hit this back and chest workout. Hope you guys enjoyed that sick edit of the chest and back workout we just had. Now we're gonna do a quick few poses. Uh, I think that's one thing that I need to improve upon if I do wanna compete next year. I gotta get those classic poses down. We don't have Cody today, but I'm gonna run through the basics. So 
Yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what we're working with. Also, currently doing that 10-day mini cut, so a little bit leaner than we were before. Hang on, all these guys, so. Just got back from the gym and we are going to have the classic bodybuilder style chicken and rice but we're using chicken thighs because chicken thighs if you know me so much better than chicken breasts in my opinion and the macros are still fantastic and yeah no broccoli just chicken and rice uh we'll keep it low calorie today but we use six ounces of our chicken thighs some of this chicken rub you see it every video this is the famous dave's chicken rub pretty much let's see this is salt spices onion powder paprika sugar garlic powder um, yeah, so pretty much a mix of a bunch of different seasonings, but we're gonna measure that out, as well as one of these minute basmati rices. This is 230 calories right there. So what we're gonna do, measure out our chicken thighs, which ends up being about like two chicken thighs, it's typically six ounces. We're gonna air fry that. Foil, as you always know in my videos, easy cleanup. The chicken fries, the chicken thighs are going to the air fryer at 365 for 12 minutes, flip halfway. Also post-workout, we're gonna have our post-workout cocktail, which is gonna be one scoop of post. Boom, boom, boom. By Transparent Labs. Well, I'm running low. Sure, let's just use the rest of this, honestly. And also a scoop of creatine. Oh. If you don't have one of these things, what, are, what is this? Um, this is a bonjour. I have no idea, but it says bonjour on it, so it's French. But yeah, it's a, this little like mixer thing. I think my sister uses it to whip up her like cream to go on her coffee. But I use it to whip up my post-workout cocktail. And now we just down it. Cheers. <sighs> now I wait for our chicken thighs. There you go, puppy. We have our chicken thighs and rice right here. I know it doesn't look super appetizing, but I promise it tastes good. Seasoned chicken thighs, greater than chicken breasts all day long. We're in the studio right now. We got Isaac putting final touches onto the 1600 California of eating. And we got the mascot right here, Maisie, of course, giving us moral support. So I'm gonna down this. We're gonna put the final touches on the 16 calorie full day of eating, which is out, I think, a week before this video. Um, but yeah. We got chicken rice. So I forgot to give you guys the macros for this meal. It is 470 calories, 65 grams of carbs, only two grams of fat, and 33 grams of protein. As you can see, the theme of the day, currently extra low fat. It is time for our fourth meal of the day. We're gonna go with some ground beef. This is 96.4 ground beef. I cooked up an entire pound yesterday. So this is about eight ounces or half of that. We're gonna have two of these car balance flour tortillas. They're 70 calories each because they were out of extreme wellness, which are 50 calories, unfortunately. And we're also have two eggs on top. I'm gonna do those over easy. So we have a little bit of egg yolk. It's kind of like a sauce, if you want to call it a sauce. So we're gonna throw this in the microwave and cook up some eggs. Boom, and just like that, dinner is served. We got Maisie, of course, sniffing, always looking for something. Let's see, we've got, this meal comes out to be 520 calories. It is 30 grams of carbs, 22 grams of fat, and then 68 grams of protein. That's a lot of protein from the eight ounces of the 96 round beef, as well as the two eggs. So then, oh, we'll see. Hopefully I have a little bit of food porn for you guys right here. So you got the 
egg, and then hopefully, oh. Oh, that looks so cool. And that is the quote unquote sauce on here. So we're gonna dig into these tacos. We're gonna take her for a walk. It's a little later, not 1900 hours, seven o'clock. So we need to take her for a walk, have our last meal as well as some cardio, like actual cardio, not just like walking cardio. Shoot, yeah, all right, I'm running out of time of the day. Today was a very busy day. Um, you guys didn't see a lot of it because a lot of it was editing, getting this video up for you guys, all that kind of stuff. All the stuff that happens in the background that's not super fun. A um, little stressful, but nothing we can't handle. And yeah, we're just gonna dig in. Your foot wall. Huh? Stop it. Can you actually get up this time? Stay cool. Up. There you go. Up. Yeah, you got it. Yeah! Say, see you down at the trail. All right, we have got her in the car. We're gonna head down to the trail, enjoy a nice evening walk, work on our tan, get some steps in, right? Yeah, I'll check you guys afterwards. All right, come on, puppy. Woohoo! You have a good walk. We just got back from the walk. Maisie, Maisie, say hi. Actually decided that we were gonna be done halfway, so pretty much I just kept walking, and eventually she took the leash and like stopped walking and turned the other way. So she's a pretty smart dog. She knows when she's tired and when she wants to walk to end. So I still want to get some more steps in. I have probably got like maybe 8,000. So I'm gonna actually go downstairs to the treadmill we have downstairs, watch probably like an hour show of the boys or an anime or something like that, and knock out the rest of my steps and cardio. Then we have one meal left. So first thing we need to do, let's go knock out the rest of this cardio. We are on to our fifth, I believe, meal. Yeah, something like that. Fifth meal or time we're eating of the day. It's gonna be some casing pudding. I've made this a few times and I think people overestimate how complicated it is. It's literally just casein protein, so it specifically needs to be casein. You guys can see it right there. Casein protein, not whey. And then some almond milk and you really just kind of eyeball it and mix it up to get a pudding consistency. So you take one full scoop. Boom. And the amount of almond milk you use is going to be dependent on the brand of casein powder you use and also how thick you want it. I pretty much just eyeball it and go on the low end. I mean, that's, uh, I honestly don't even know how much that is, but I typically do that and then we'll stir it up a little bit. And at first, I mean, it's going to be like, it's going to look like chalky milk, but you're going to keep stirring it, stirring it, stirring it. All right. That's what we have right now. In my opinion, that's a little too thick. Like it's not like pudding, it's like a little, yeah, just too thick. So we'll add, guess what? Some more almond milk. About that. Once again, start slow, mix that milk in. Alrighty, and just like that, we have the consistency we want. Looking like pudding right there. Pretty good if you ask me. Yes, this is a lot more effort than it would be to make a protein shake. But I personally, for some reason, like that this is gonna kind of be like an ice cream and something you eat rather than drink. We're gonna add a bunch of blueberries in there, about 100 grams. And I've made this so many times, I know pretty much exactly how much blueberries to put in there for 100 grams. And we'll give that a good mix. And then we're gonna put this in the freezer for five to 15, 20 minutes, really however long you want for it to kind of solidify and cool down a little bit. It becomes even more like a ice cream kind of sorbet texture. But I'm gonna read off the macros real quick for you guys. So for the casein protein, one cup of almond milk and 100 grams of blueberries, it comes out to be 207 calories. That is 19 grams of carbs, only three grams of fat, and then 27 grams of protein. That also brings our day total. We had the goal of 1800 calories. It is 1837 calories, 188 grams of carbs, 50 grams of fat, and 190 grams of protein. Pretty good full day of eating if I do say so myself, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer. I need to shower. I need a little bit more editing to do to make sure I get ahead for this coming week. And then, yeah, but I'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.